exponential growth and decay, the equation is like this. Y is equal to constant A times E raised to the power constant K times T. The little t here is the time. So when we sketch the graph, let k is greater than zero. So when t is equal to zero, y is equal to a. So we will only have the right hand side of the graph from here. T cannot be negative. And because k is greater than zero, so it's exponential growth, so the graph would look like this. It will go up exponentially. So this is exponential. growth. If k is less than zero, again, the t starts from zero. When t is zero, y is equal to a. But this time, because k is negative, so it's exponential decay, so the curve looks like this. It goes down, but never touch this line, the t axis. So this is exponential decay. So we could have equation here y equal to 10 e to the power 0.1t. Here we will have the equation y equal to 10 e to the power minus 0.1t. So your curve here starts from the y axis, same here. Let's do another example. So do this example yourself, when you've done it, then watch the clip. So answer to part 1, so small t is equal to 0. So we write the formula, capital T is 25 plus 60 times e to the power minus 0.15 times 0. So that's e to the power 0. e to the power 0 is 1. So this is 25 plus 60. So that's 85 degrees centigrade. Part 2. Put small t equal to 10. So we have a capital T 25 plus 60 times e to the power now this T is 10 so it's minus 1.5 using your calculator you should get the answer to be 38.4 degree centigrade Part 3, the big T is equal to 30, so we write the formula 25 plus e to the power minus 0.15 T is equal to 30. Subtract 25 from both sides, so we have 60 e to the power minus 0.15t is equal to 5 divided by 60 
So we get e to the power minus 0.15t is equal to 1 divided by 12. Now we take the natural log of both sides. So the e cancels, so we have a minus 0.15t is equal to ln 1 over 12. And then we divide by minus 0.15 and you should get the answer to be 16.6 minutes. Answer to part 4 As the time get larger and larger this part of the equation is becoming close to zero. So therefore, in the long run, the temperature of this coffee would be the room temperature, which is 25. So the answer to this question is 25 degrees.